So, welcome back everybody on the back nine of the second round here in that beautiful place, Carleton Course, Heatland Open here in Sweden. I'm again here with Stanislaus Saman from Austria. Hey, Gamet. Hello, everybody. Nice to be here. We have a great battle going on in FPL Division. Four players, only one stroke apart of each other. It's gonna be very fun back nine. There's a lot of lines to hit on this course. Definitely Let's wooded see. course. Let's head to all 10. And not yet, we have our introduction here with the score. So as you can see, really tight battle between five players here, only two strokes between them. It's pretty interesting to watch Hannah Jensen with a really nice front line being in the mix, not in the video. And here we have our sponsors, thanks to Castaplast for sponsoring the event. That beautiful event that Michael is ruling. Beautiful job from him. So hold 10, par 4, 134 meters. So you have that uh, hyzer shot for the right-handed players. You have that uh, OB on the right that you need to avoid. And if you go up, you have that straight line to the basket. You need to avoid all those trees on the right side and the left side of the fairway basket a bit of elevation for for it so uh, pretty easy let's check how the players are going to handle this <clears throat> yeah just like hole number seven not the longest of the par fours but a pretty tricky one okay yeah, taking the line. inside line left of the pole avoiding the ob really nice shot from ruth that's basically the perfect pos position to attack the pin not a given birdie though. Same line, a bit tighter. Mm. Great shot also for Sophie, yeah. our two leaders, handling the situation the best way to start that back nine. And then down the T, same line, a bit lower. Checking the skip, really nice. Oh yeah, those girls make this line look pretty easy. And let's see how the Definitely. lefty is handling it. A little bit harder for the lefty, but you can also make more distance with this kind of shot. And Anakin just lands it in the perfect place. So everybody seems to have a chance for the birdie. Come on. Ah. Okay, it will be an easy four, should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's still, you know, you had a great t-shirt, still it's a lot of work to navigate through all those woods, to get close to the basket, to hit a part on this elevated dream. So, birdie needs to be earned. Yeah, and Sophie taking advantage of uh, the three hit from Ruth with a birdie possibility. Same for Anakin. Great job. Amanda with the with the best drive approaching it, just sawing it off a little bit to the left. But with her putting, that's a birdie chance all day. With... And Ruth with that 30 meters approach. Good layup. Will be an easy bar. Nice way to start the back nine. So Amanda with the tree in the line. Oh, wow. Great try. Attempt. And Sophie so, to take the lead yeah. here. Steal a stroke from Root. The Beautiful. Dead center. Her Great putt is a fire, man. And minus Sophie. one on the round. Great. Yeah. She's looking good on the putting green, really confident attempts and some really long putts. Again, a bit of Anakin. Yeah, Anakin struggling with her putt, to be honest. We've seen not the first miss we've seen this round. I can't imagine she's nervous. Maybe it's just not feeling it. 
and build as she pulled off one layer we can see now she's sponsored by Custer Blast, which is one of the main sponsors of the event as well oh yes and whole the event changed so there is a that Mendo at the start, you have to go on the left of it. You have OBs on the left that you need to avoid. So it will be a turnover shot for the right-handed players. So you need to follow that line and take your fade at the end. For the lefties, it should be a bit easier to uh, to make it to the basket with that hyzer shot. And again, really tricky green with that elevated basket. You can really fast go far from the basket if you don't make the putt. Okay, oh, yeah. it can be OB and it will be an OB for Sophie here on the left. That's mm -hmm. taking some momentum off of her. Root on the join with overcooked. Uh, Careful with the roller nut happening here so it should be okay it's like temperatures are rising a bit as everyone is putting off the jacket and exactly the weather was pretty okay it was raining on the first day and then never too cold a bit cloudy but uh great condition to play this golf Let's see if anything can yeah take advantage of the, the shape of the hole Mm, it will be a bit high. Yeah, also on the hard best, I would say. Um, that, this one is a really technical hole as well. Not only as it has a pretty, pretty big length as at uh, 115 meters, you also really need to shape a shot to get close to the basket. And we see some upshots from like 40, 50 meters here from Good roots. job. So Good job, no stress on the green. Yeah, the, the rest of the card also will have some kind of upshots into the green. Let's see. Okay, stay there. Mm. Stay there. Oh no, it's rolling. Okay, it will be 7 8 meters, but still yeah. inside the circle. Another tester for Anakin. Good layup. Tranquille. Easy peasy. Come on, Anakin. Make that happen. Oh, no. That that's was a good one. The chance, yeah. Be that unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate. Yeah, that's the thing with those latitude baskets, as the chains are pretty far from each apart. Sometimes, if you don't hit it that clean, they can go in between the chains through the basket and not stay in there definitely an unfortunate break and who is gonna go first okay yeah <laughs> take the disc out first and then cut just like that we see a little bit of scoring separation at the 11th hole so we had some bogus and <coughs> some birdies and we move on to hole number 12 which is basically a hyzer turn in the woods. So... He won't go uphill as the GMPO layout, so it's uh, yeah. the basket you're seeing here, 78 meters par three. So it's kind of a hyzer line for the, the right-handed players. Not the hardest one on the course. Can be a birdie possibility yeah. for all the girls. Uh, still, there's a lot of slopes, and especially if you, I don't know, get your disc a little bit too straight. Yeah, uh, careful those with the roll. These can eat you up. Mm, so this is what I mean. That can, what can be a little bit scary because there's a pretty heavy slope. Might not even be a easy up and down for a route. So let's see. I'm not sure about it, but ah, uh, that looks better. Yeah. Okay. Please don't yeah, fall. You need, yeah, you need to job. make sure to be on a high angle on your shots. That's what I tried to say. So if you also looks like a fairy driver in her hands. Mm -hmm. Good one also. Yeah. It's it's one of the easiest hole in the course for the ladies. 
Same average as yeah. the whole nine. Also, you can see the, the line here. It's a little bit not as tight as other holes. There's a little bit more room to swing a disc. Anikin with a nice forehand. And who's up first? Anakin, okay. Seems to be just outside. Yeah. Okay, lay up. Easy bar. Mm. Ruth going for the uphill, but stay there. Nice try. Uh, you really can see the, the elevation change here. <laughs> On this hill, uh, all the girls have to put strongly uphill. And great job from Sophie with the birdie here. Yeah, just Taking bouncing back, back the after the bogey. Mm -hmm. The third from Amanda, too. And Amanda tying with Ruth. And a gap between the three girls and Anakin needs to fight back here. <clears throat> Let's move on to the bar five. Oh, yeah. Here we have it, second bar five of the round. On number 13, it's a straight shot through the woods. Approximately 80 90 meters, I would say, straight. Then you're in the perfect position to basically turn around and go this little slope up the hill. It's a change of directions and it's a change of elevation. You need, really need to make sure to go up on this plateau. And then you have at least one more shot to get kind of close to the basket. And here you can see the basket is also raised up again. Um, in this little shelf, there's a lot of stones around. This can bounce around the green. So a lot of things can happen on this turn. And I, I think for FBO division, the birdie here is something special. Yeah, and they have exactly the same layout as the DMPO last, last year. So you know exactly the, the whole but the MPO uh, are starting like 20, 25 meters behind. Pretty interesting. It's a straight shot here. Not the best shot for the two first players. Looks better for Ruth. And that looks more like mm, what you want. Stop there. Okay, she will have an open look to go yeah. up here. here. Yeah. I think that's almost the perfect angle. Yeah, after your first shot, it's almost throwing backwards again to this uh, secondary family. Oh, wow. Well. Eating nice the Mando tree. Of the Mando. And honestly, being in a pretty good spot for Anakin. I mean, she's the furthest from the pin, but her angle might be even the best of all. Mm, struggling with the, with the heel here. Yeah, that's just right when, you, when you throw so uphill, this get way more overstable oh. than in the flat, you know. You can see then Sophie as well, early releasing her disc into the rough. Let's see if Root can finally get a straight shot, yeah. Uh, it's over. That's great a perfect one. But she will still need to work to go up to the basket. It's really yeah. hard, the third shot is really hard on this hole. Yeah. And a bit deep for Amanda. Best right. position. And as soon as you're out of position on this one, it's almost uh, bogey at best, I would say. So, for. Oh, wow. <sighs> okay. Weird line uh, to take for Sophie. Oh, and Ling up. Or Anakin, really good choice, wise. Yeah. Just list the pick in position. Root. I can't imagine her attacking the basket. I think that's just a play for position to get a par look. Sophie also trying to get uh, some more meters. Oh, good one. It's a good shot, but it's still like 30 out, I would say. Maybe even more. I don't know. Okay, she's up. 
it's the a right fight. Side. It's it's definitely a fight to get up this hill, huh? It's it's uh, a lot of elevation you need to deal with, and it's a long shot. And there's so much rough and so much options to mess it up. So staying in the line is so key on this one. And again, ah, tight. Yeah, again we see Amanda just switching to the left hand. Pretty amazing to see. Yeah, that's crazy. I I I heard about that uh, through the tournament, but that's amazing to to see. Not fearing using, using both hands. Beautiful. Yeah, not fearing using the off hand at all. Would move a turn over. Mm. Okay, the girls are just below. struggling with this one. Laying up for Amanda. Come on, Anikan. Job, she will need to work here. Should be okay. Finally, everyone is putting here. About 10 meters oh, is low. Brutal. Uphill putts, uphill putts, and always such a classic thing to leave them low. Nice. Finishing with this one, a bogey also for Amanda. Not the worst course for the ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Really hard hole. And back bogey to for even Sophie. for, for yeah. Sophie. So everyone took a bogey on that one. Long haul, lots of shots, but not a whole lot of separation. And that's amazing commercial. Beautiful commercial from Castaplast, loving it, really chill, smooth. Hole 14 here, par 3, 114 meters, downhill shot, so you have a, that OB line on the right, really close, uh, really close from the line you need to take, it's a really tight fairway, so you really follow the line for the righties, pretty, pretty smooth shot, it will be a bit harder for Anakin uh, with the left hand and with the fade to the to the right and to the OB. So a bit high for Amanda, seeing the fairway. Mm -hmm. And I think this hole is really pushing the edge of the maximum distance. If any one of these um, competitors here are looking to get a birdie. That looks better from Sophie. Mm -hmm. Taking the downhill slope perfectly and it will be it will be a, a very possibility for Sophie. Yeah, yeah. Great shot. the circle, but you just could see once again we have an elevated pin up on the stone. Very scary part. Root with a nice straight pole. That's that beautiful. So perfect. Ha. Huh. That was great. Uh, just a bit short about circle two, I would imagine. Let's see if Anakin has got the distance on the side I'm here to get a look out of it. It plays a little bit downhill, so maybe... Yeah, the disc didn't glide as yeah. it should be. It will be on the left of the fairway, but... Yeah, it should be okay. Open look for the, the approach. It's really hard here with the green. You have a lot of rocks. You can hit one and just fall to DOB uh, on the right side. It's pretty hard, but not on this one for Anakin. Good shot. Yeah, almost throws it in for the birdie from way downtown. Ooh. Oh my Whoa. gosh. Amanda hitting metal on that one. What a shot. That almost was. a throw in from 50 meters. Great shot from Amanda. <laughs> Good layup from Ruth. So and please make it a birdie. She was putting so confident so far. And wow. Just once again, just like it's nothing. I mean, that's so perfect. Straight into the chains. She's really on a heater. Yeah, and Look up and this. downs 
for yeah. Sophie on the, that side of the back nine. You yeah. can see just green and red on the card. Okay. And another one for Amanda. Really confident on the green today. No problem at all for her so far on the putting green. Um, Seems casual for her so oh, yeah. far. And Ruth looking if it's her turn. Routine and cash in. Good bar. Oh, yeah. Pat for money. And you can answer from pretty close to, to save for par. Honestly, par for the lefty on this one. Not a bad score at all. Yeah, definitely a good one. Really, really hard for the lefties here. Mm, and so think easy also, to also fade the uh, next fade. one. Yeah. The next one might be super hard for a left handed player. Oh, yeah. As this is a par four with a very specific landing sound you need. As a right handed player, you just need to yeah, place a hyzer somewhere around here where the drone is flying by now. Better stay on the path because all those stones won't give you a good run up. And then this shot, it's really an uphill shot into the basket. And it's another left turn at the end of the hole. So basically it's playing like a big U and yeah. Again, you have to deal with some elevation changes. Let's see if that one. Great oh, yeah. shot from Sophie. That's basically where you want to be, but still it's a lengthy shot into the green from there as it's so uphill on the second one. Yeah, it looks like good also. Really nice shot. Yeah. So she's on the, the start of that hill. Not the not the easiest place to uh to throw your second shot as you are just uh up uphill. Yeah, not sure. It's just so thing. key to to stay on this little road. Because as soon as you're off to the right or off to the left, uh, you won't get any run up. You're only playing some kind of abstracted shot. And I think this is pushing yeah, the edge of maximum distance again for any kind of the sidearm because... Okay, looks good. Yeah. And Maybe everybody is in the middle of the, of the fairway. Perfect. Yeah. Let's see if it's... I mean, I would say it's it's pretty long to reach the basket from here. Yeah. And now you can see how uphill this is. I mean, this is really... Great result for Anakin. Yeah. Really safe way to go uh, for the par. Really nice. So if you're electing for the standstill, that's the uphill run-up is something pretty tricky to do. Really um, clean job so far for uh, the whole group. Mm -hmm. mm, this will be a bit on the left. Good roll stop there. So, uh, okay, so it'll be okay. Good bounce out. I think that's. And let's see. Yeah, all the root is uh, doing a standstill shot. That's just because of the uphill is. Yeah, it's just confusing the run up a lot. Yeah, we can see that's basically oh. the steepest part of the hole. Oh, nice. She's on the second plateau. Huh? Really that's a part for Birdie from, I don't know, Circle Tour or something? Mm, not sure. Not sure. She, yeah, maybe she, she will have a look on the basket. Hmm. We'll see in a minute. R Sophie Amanda has. With a good, good option test. Long one from C2. It will be the first bar for Sophie on this round, on this back nine. Uh, stopping the accordion thing on the scorecard. <laughs> exactly. Mixing it and mixing a new color into that. And it can have a good layup. Just taking the easy palm. What is a pretty good score for the lefty. And here we see Root putting for birdie. Yeah, and there you have the best birdie possibility of the group. Still a long way out. Yeah. Chile up. It's really nice. Really clean job from uh, hmm. the four girls here. Only pars. Loving it. Yeah. Yeah, they so they made it pretty no. fast. It's pretty, pretty nice. 
Oh, good job. That was clean played. I mean, they can. I played this horn on my own, and there's so much to happen on that one. So, super nice to see them play that clean because I'm sure not everyone else did. Anyway, hole 16, we have 86 meters over a big OB area. So, you really need to clean this first rocky kind of stuff until here and you're in the safe and then we are faced with a pretty scary green as it is on this top of this little mount and uh, roll away potential on all sides and if you miss your putts or airball your putts there's a lot to happen you know that's yeah scary saying. green scary green pretty hard if you hit the cage there there is like 50 percent of chance just to roll and uh... Mm. To try back your uh, your putt, definitely. Great, great, great shot. Wow. From Sophie. Wow. Oh my god. Just, just hit it perfectly on the top of the hill and stay close to the basket on this one. Man, pretty impressive shot. She is really in the zone now, Sophie. Amanda, again switching to the left hand. Not you need to sacrifice any kind of distance, even she uses her weak hand. I think she's having kind of a bird up there. Root on the other hand, you think she's going for the Heiser route? Yeah, yo, 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 there's Hello. a straight line as well, but a straight line is a little bit scary. Yeah, it looks like it'll be. And Anakin has Bob here. <clears throat> Just trying to follow up Amanda's line. Maybe getting it even a bit closer. Come on, take your right. To be on the pill. But really nice position. Oh, that's... Good shot from Anakin. Uh, but that part is so strong, the uphill. Baskets are small from, from that low. Please. Mm -hmm. Oh my. This will be another one. Okay, fifth oh. shot for Ruth. And there's not even a drop sound, so there's no progress of distance at all for her. Oh man. And just another OB shot. Wow, that hole is a killer. That's so hard. So what oh, wow. comes next? That's the seventh shot already now. Yeah, yeah. Hard situation here. Goodness. Play safe, please. I mean, what do you do even? Yeah, just play it safe. But play safe, basically the best what you can do is a nine on a par. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. It will be a nine. She just laid up. Yeah. How oh, really hard, man. Six strokes. Yeah. This golf, huh? That's the hard thing about this golf. You can't win it on one hole, but you can definitely lose it on one hole. It's just. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, good break to stay on top. And Amanda with an even closer look than Anakin. Inside the circle, just strongly uphill. Wow. Catch money. So clean on the green, man. Great job. And one down on the back nine. Super clean from Amanda. Yeah, that's, that's just perfect. And I mean, this part Sophie is faced with now, you're just no staring problem down for her. Now, a putt into nothing. You think it's no problem? I Yo. would be nervous. Sophie is not. She has the experience. She knows yeah, that. Great job. True. Plus one. Two strokes lead for uh, Sophie mm -hmm. and Ruth with the heartbreak situation here. It will be a nine. Wow. Hard for her. Gosh, yeah. This golf, as you were saying. So. Hole 17, par 3, 124 meters. So you have 
two options right or left of that tree in the middle of the, the start of the fairway so kind of a uphill shot so really protected you won't go long ob that's for sure and you have ob to deal with on the right and on the left side of the fairway so be careful not to overcook your shot here so sophie turning over the shot pretty nice 120 meters from the basket should be an yeah. easy par maybe a long birdie possibility it's a long hole but still you know, just put it out there as far as you can oh and uh, we have a pretty decent pull yeah, really close from GOB on the left but still on the fairway nice shot it's hard, it's, it's hard to get it all the way to the basket but yeah. Yeah, really three tight bad. gap at the start. Uh, three not a bad score on this one. The main main challenge is really to hit this gap here. Still put some power on it, of course. But yeah. Beautiful one from Anakin. Birdie possibility definitely here. Oh yeah, way to go. Good shot. And now we see Ruth trying to recover. Forget forget about this mess up on the last one as fast as possible two more chances to show what she has got has got and yeah up shots yo getting... not too long should be okay yeah, it got away a little bit but shouldn't be too big of a problem to save power yo a bit too much on it should be okay she was pretty comfortable on the green today. Should be okay for Sophie. Good layer from Amanda. Yeah. Amanda definitely should be okay with that one. And let's and check the closest look. Oh, yeah. The only birdie possibility here. C2 putt. Yeah. Hmm. So, she was probably attacking it, but kind of a layup would be an easy par that, that um but from Anakin was more uphill than you might have thought yeah exactly and also you can see here root taking the stance to her knee yeah left side of the chains it, yeah. come on Sophie keep the pace Great job, man. Comfortable. It's on the way of bringing home an amazing round. So if it just needs to survive the difficult finishing hole 18. Other than that, almost played perfectly so far. So we see a bunch of pars here from Amanda and Anakin. Unfortunate bogey for Root. And we have hole number 18, which offers us a lot of OB. And some options to rip a disc. And let's head to hole 18, par 4, 190 meters. So it will be on the right and on the left side of the fairway. So you have that first part of the fairway. You need to get here where the low the drone is, uh, is flying now. And then the second part of the fairway. So again, a lot of OBs everywhere here. So pretty open open fairway and uh, and and hole but uh but yeah definitely the first shot is uh is really tricky you need to avoid all those ob's yeah and also different than on the rest of the course there's usually a lot of wind going on and this one is it is one of the most open holes of the whole course and, and that's a beautiful sophie, shot from sophie that's the perfect one that's really where the where the OB opens up on the on the left side. You just want to land it this there. You have some room to swing in your second shot. So perfectly played for the Swedish women. Amanda unfortunately hitting the tree in the middle of the fairway. Still say staying in bounds though. Should be a bit easier for the lefties to me. Yeah, yeah. That hang open it space up. on the on the, the left. Key. Great Less shot from to deal with, that's for sure. Also, on the second shot, Anakin should have some kind of advantages. 
But you see on the scoring board, Anakin also needs to make up some scores to the leaders because she's already some back route trying to flex something down the hill. Okay, in the fairway, she will probably need to lay up the second shot. Not the, the cut, easiest line. A cut of angle from, from there. If you end up to the right side of this hole. And Amanda using off. the left yeah. hand here. Beauty. Wow. Ah, just making wow. the second fairway. Great shot. Yeah, that's laying what, up. It, what you meant. Yeah, just okay. laying up in the prime position to attack the basket on the third. Wise. And on the other roof. hand. Yeah. And they can, can go with the birdie here all day. Just riding the OB line on the left hand side come of on, the fairway. Come on, come on, come on. Push it. Okay, yeah. inside the circle. Inside Pretty the possible. Circle, as you can see the marked line. Selfie. One more good shot to finish up things. Come on, turn over. No. Ah. Oh. That's an unnecessary mess up at the end of the whole round. Okay, so sure. she will put from long range to save the par and to finish the, that perfect round. It was beautiful here. Ruth really short. And Amanda after that good second shot. Must yeah. feel good about it. Good layoff here. Touch a little up shot. Power look from about 20. And then okay. start off, leaving something on the bone to save a bogey for a root. And so just one more long part away. No! Oh my goodness. What? Come on. <laughs> what? Beautiful no from Sophie. Great way. save. What a way to finish the round, man. And oh, honestly, wow. what a round. Snacking the lead from fourth place, just overtaking all the others. And yeah, sleeping on a lead for the final day. Yeah, she must feel really great about it. Come on, Anika. Show the alley. Um, yeah, yeah no, not no, the, the, no, best, nice. uh, the best Very day for Anakin on the green, definitely. Definitely not, no. A lot of left putt, uh, left options. The snacks and putts and root. Yeah, no problem to save for bogey. The putt yeah, was a little bit shorter than I thought. Still a disappointing result, obviously. Oh man, but that hole at 16 just messed up everything for her. Yeah. And Amanda. So far. Yeah. Okay, Amanda. Clean par here. And really clean round. Mm -hmm. One over is pretty nice. And Annie is so, struggling a bit today, yeah. but still okay. Suddenly, all of that has basically turned out to a two horse race. And we have Sophie in the lead with her overall score of plus one, which is a Pretty, pretty good results. Amanda chasing only two strokes back. Anakin and also Root hanging around. Let's see what the chase cut has done. Yeah, Hannah was uh, playing really nice on the front line. Let's see. And still plus four on the round, so a uh, pretty clean one. So it will be a change for the lead card tomorrow. So Ruth just going out and Hannah going in on the fourth place, so it will be pretty interesting battle between Sophie and Amanda. Maybe Anikin if uh, she managed to play yeah. a better round tomorrow. So great, great. Thank you, thank you for all this, Stan. Thank you for being here. Thank you for helping for the commentaries. It's a pleasure it always. A pleasure as always. Stay tuned for the third round. Yes. Uh, see you guys. <laughs>